I recently had a subscriber reach out to me to help him try to set up multiple portfolios within his Coinbase account. He wanted an account for long-term holdings, for swing trading, and for his fear and greed index dollar cost averaging. To do this, he had opened an LLC, bought a second phone, and created two Coinbase accounts, one under his real name and one under his business name. He was about to open a second LLC, purchase a third phone, open a third email address to create a third Coinbase account. All of this just to dollar cost average the fear and greed index in a separate portfolio. His wife was not happy. Luckily for you and him, Coinbase natively supports multiple portfolios and you don't have to buy seven phones or open 10 shell corporations in the Bahamas just to execute different trading strategies in different Coinbase portfolios. So let's jump into it and see how it works. So first of all, as of the recording of this video, all of this has to be done on the desktop version of Coinbase. You can't do this on the mobile app. When we first log into Coinbase here, we'll see this my assets tab over here on the left and then we'll see our different cryptocurrencies that we have available on the platform so let's go ahead and click on bitcoin for example once you click into bitcoin you'll see your different balances from your different accounts and if you're just doing this and you haven't set up different portfolios within your coinbase account you're probably just going to see a primary balance and maybe a vault depending on the cryptocurrency that you're looking at but in my account for example i already have a portfolio open for swing trading and so you'll see if i hover over it here it's saying advanced portfolios are only available in coinbase advanced trade. And so if we want to create these new portfolios for ourselves, we need to come down here into the bottom left and turn on Coinbase Advanced. Once we're in Coinbase Advanced here, we'll see this portfolios tab over on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you get to this portfolio view here, you'll see all of our portfolios. You'll probably just have default if you haven't done this before, but you'll see here I have a swing trading portfolio and a fear and greed portfolio. And we can go ahead and just create a new portfolio here by clicking on new portfolio. And we'll call this one the alpha squared DCA portfolio. And if you don't know what Alpha Squared is, I'll have a link up in the cards and down in the description to videos that I've done covering their product before. It's a really interesting indicator that allows us to trade based on market highs and lows, sort of like the fear and greed index. And so if I wanted to set aside maybe 5% or 10% of my portfolio, just to dollar cost average based on the alpha squared indicator, I could transfer in some funds explicitly to only use for that purpose. So let's go ahead and fund this with 500 USDC. We'll choose to take this from the default portfolio and move it over to the alpha squared portfolio. And we'll see that that's gonna happen in less than a minute here and that there are no fees associated with transmitting this money between different portfolios on our account. So let's go ahead and transfer now. And we'll see that that is already done. So that already happened and that's happening behind the scenes in Coinbase's accounting. It's not something that's happening on chain. So you're not gonna be able to see an on-chain transaction for something like that. And based on Coinbase's documentation, you can have up to a hundred of these portfolios, which I don't think you would ever need. I think most people are probably only going to need two or three or four or five, maybe 10, 10 would even be a lot. And so that's how you go ahead and create new accounts here on Coinbase Advanced Trade. But before we leave the video, I wanna note a couple of things. And then I wanna talk about how we can automatically balance these portfolios over time. The first thing to note here is if we click on transfer and then we decide to deposit cash, we'll see this informational thing down here at the bottom that's telling us that funds will only be deposited into our default portfolio. So if you have recurring purchases of USDC or any other cryptocurrency coming directly from your bank account and funding your Coinbase account, that money is only ever going to show up in the default portfolio. You can't directly deposit money from your checking account into your swing trading portfolio, for example. And it's at this point that you might be saying, well, all this portfolio stuff is really great, but if I have to manually touch all of this stuff all the time, then that's not really what I want. I want to set it and forget it. I want these portfolios to auto balance themselves based on criteria that I've set ahead of time. And the bad news is, you can't do that using Coinbase's UI. But the good news is you can do it using the great and powerful Coinbase Advanced Trade API that I have covered ad nauseum here on the channel, links up in the cards and down in the description, and even created my own fork of. And because portfolios are a feature of the Coinbase Advanced Trade API, we can go ahead and look at some of this documentation and see what all we can do with portfolios. Right off the bat, you'll notice that we can create new portfolios. We can move money between portfolios to help rebalance them. We can get breakdowns between portfolios 
portfolios, we can delete portfolios, we can edit portfolios, and we can do all sorts of other stuff with futures and everything else using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API to interact with these portfolios. And if you're starting to get overwhelmed and you saw that documentation and you're like, I'm not a programmer, I don't know what any of this means, this doesn't make any sense to me, let's go back into Coinbase and start to think about what we would actually want these portfolios to do in real life and then talk about how we could automate those features using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. So we could write rules, for example, not financial advice, that said something like, I want my default portfolio to be my long-term HODL portfolio, and I want 60% of my money at the end of any month to be in that default long-term HODL portfolio, because that's money that I'm just not going to trade with. Then we could say that in portfolio two, in our swing trading portfolio, maybe we want 20% of our money in our swing trading portfolio, and we want 20% of our money in our Alpha Square DCA portfolio. And then at the end of every month, we want our portfolios to be rebalanced in that 60-20-20 asset allocation, either taking money from the default portfolio and adding it to the swing trading and alpha squared portfolios in months where the alpha squared and the swing trading have not performed well, or more likely if your strategies are performing well, taking money from those two strategy portfolios and reallocating the profits into a long-term hold portfolio. You could even do something where at the end of every month, you take any altcoin profits and you auto convert them into your default long-term portfolio as USDC and Bitcoin. And then you could do something at the end of the year where you sell the profit from all three portfolios into cash and you get it off of your Coinbase account. The possibilities and the amount of customization that you can bring to this are completely endless. You can really tailor this to your exact specific situation. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys come up with down in the comments and over on the Discord. The amount of flexibility that Coinbase is giving us with the portfolios feature combined with the advanced trade API is going to make it one of the best places to trade out of any cryptocurrency exchange. Hopefully this has helped you understand how powerful portfolios are and stopped you from buying 100 burner phones and opening up 900 LLCs in the Cayman Islands. Again, go leave a comment down below or join the conversation that's happening over on Discord. And if there are any similar or repeat requests that a lot of people in the community want, I'll go ahead and turn those into advanced and easier to use functions as part of my Coinbase Advanced Trade API that I released here on the channel a couple weeks ago that I'll leave up in the cards and down in the description. And on that note, if you want to get started with the Coinbase Advanced Trade API, check out this video right over here. And if you want to learn more about Coinbase Advanced Trade in general, check out this playlist right over here. I love you all. See you next week. Bye.